Hello and welcome. This is Mouse Gunner, and we're back with some more Chromo Squad featuring Rainbow. And we are now on to episode 2, season 1, at least the preliminary element of that, the setup of that episode. So we now have the crafting option open to us, which I did a little bit of poking around with this, uh, just seeing what was going on with this. And essentially, when we were beating up the bad guys, we uh, picked up a number of materials, be it duct tape, Play-Doh, leather, what have you. And this is essentially the inventory of stuff we picked up from the bad guys we beat up. And with that, you can craft items. So we have either um, outfit items or weapons. Now, obviously, the things that are kind of grayed out, we don't yet have the materials for. But it does look like we could either uh, get uh, some gloves or we can get uh, some boots. Honestly, I'm thinking maybe it would probably be a good idea to uh, uh, hold out for uh, some other uh, materials to get maybe a helmet or a suit or maybe one of these weapons. Um, although we could do the boots and it does give a health bonus, which would be kind of nice. Uh, and of course, uh, we can also buy these items as we uh, saw earlier, so we could buy our own boots as well. And it looks like the boots we could buy are slightly better, giving us a little bit more health. But we could make the boots essentially for free out of the materials that we have. As well as, for instance, we can get a suit ourselves, and uh, it probably is better than the suit that we make ourselves. But we also get a random property when we make something. Uh, you know what, just to do it, we'll do some fake boots. Uh, it's kind of, let's see, we have four duct tape and it also takes uh, cotton. Which it looks like it's only going to take one of the four duct tape uh, we have, but all of the cotton we have to make these boots. So let's go ahead and, and make these boots, so uh, we'll craft them up, just to see what happens. Okay, and now we have to choose who the, uh, it looks like it gives us a skill regen. Uh, who this these boots go to so We could give it to uh, Ronnie James Dio uh, To give him a little bit more health, you know, he is a frontline brawler uh, Or we could give it to one of our other guys to you know kind of help out uh, Because the skill regen is also going to help for maybe the more skill oriented uh, characters like for instance our assist guy I think I'm gonna maybe put it on him uh, so that we can use his maybe his heal, his healing ability a little bit quicker. So let's go ahead and uh, equip uh, Cozy Powell with the boots. And there we have it. So that's essentially the crafting in a nutshell. So I think we're uh, pretty much ready for our next episode. I don't think anybody leveled up. I could double check that though. If we go to skills, it looks like, yes, we're still on level one. I'm actually not sure how you level up. Uh, do we have a experience stat here? I don't really see one. Okay, actually, these are per season, so uh, there is no leveling up mechanic. Okay, that's fine. So let's go ahead and read our email. So, hey, K Cozy Powell. Hi, Cozy Powell. Remember me? You gave me your card after you helped me on the train station. The guy who ne uh, needed money f for tickets since his card uh, would not work. I seem to have brought your bags along with mine by accident. Uh, train companies, right? I'm so sorry about that, uh, but they look intact. I'm still totally broke, though. If you can send me some money, I can mail it back to you uh, and maybe a little extra for a cab. I kind of live far from the post office. Uh, <laughs> all right, so this sounds like I can even gi give them the money and possibly be out the money, but I get bags. And, or you could call the police. <laughs> well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. But, 125 for not knowing what I'm going to get. Oh, come on. Oh, let's have fun. <laughs> so, 
okay. Oh, you, you are a very nice person. It's hard to find people who, who trust strangers as blindly as you do. Some would say it's dangerous. But wouldn't the world be a better place if everyone was like you? Anyway, sorry for all the trouble. Here's all your money back. Plus a little uh, thing I made for you. Take care. So it looks like we, uh, we ended up uh, benefiting. Let's see. Uh, let's go to our characters and go to our assist and see what he's got in his inventory. Uh, I don't see anything. We already have the fake boots as well as... Rain boots are the, uh, the normal basic stuff. Oh, okay, he gave us a weapon. So we got... Best friend! Fighting monsters is more fun with friends. So this looks like some kind of ranged weapon. Which gives us uh, both skill regen as well as a weapon attack. Alright, well, that is fantastic. <laughs> Alright, uh, so that paid off. So let's go ahead and go on to the next episode. Actually, before we get into the next episode, I forgot I wanted to upgrade the studio. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, now that we know how the money works. So let's go ahead and get ourselves a uh, camera. Uh, the workbench... Gives me crafting rate plus 25. I don't really know what that means. They already have the microphone. Shop makes things less expensive. We could probably do with the healthcare for now. Then probably next episode, I'm going to get the bigger studio. But for now, uh, this is probably fine. So let's go ahead and get into the episode. And it looks like we're going to lose 422 uh, through this episode. So we have to be mindful of that. And that maybe we're kind of at the limit of making a profit as well. So let's go ahead and record our next episode. So we have a couple choices, it looks like. Uh, I didn't really notice this before if we had options. So our first option is, in this episode, an innocent bystander will be kidnapped by the evil monsters. But should the victim be a boy or a girl? Also, laundry problems. And we have a max audience of 1,500, and uh, we have a location here of a random dead end. And it looks like we have to reach a guy before defeating all enemies and reach the guy before, uh, in three turns. So that's uh, one of the choices. We have two of three, so this is barrel and roll. Blackmore Studios has an argument with a stunt actor who does not want to use a proper costume. But they have to record the episode anyway. So we have exactly the same audience. And we have a public park as our location. And we have to defeat a boss monster with a finishing move. And attack the boss monster with uh, the lead three times before we do so. Or we have a fatty alien. Fat alien terrorizes the city. And Cerebro sends Rainbow to deal with this threat. But someone has a dentist appointment. So we have, uh, again, same... Uh, audience, different location though, and we have to uh, perform a team attack with three squad members, and we have to defeat all weak uh, bread crumblers in four turns. So you know what, I'm going to do the first mission, this Awoken story, because I want to know what this Reach the Guy thing is, so let's go ahead and do this mission. Researching, and I think I know of a way to go viral and boost our audience. What is it, Tony Carey? Some of our episodes should be referencing the greatest heroes ever from other TV shows. Cool! We, we could record a special episode. Money isn't our best weapon. Don't worry, Richie Blackmore. I've got something in mind. There will be a kidnapped girl, just like in the series that inspired us. My sister will be this kidnapped girl! Wait, wait. Why are we not using a male in, in need of being rescued? That's a valid point, Cozy Pal. Shouldn't we do this with someone else? She's family, and she always wanted to be rescued in, in a hero TV show. Well, I think we should be careful so we don't fall into any sexist tropes. 
the series that inspired us were like this, and if Jimmy Bain's sister really wants to do it, what's the problem? Hi, right, James Dio. We may not see our, our motivations as sexist, or racist, or things like that, but when people watch our shows, they see only what is on the screen. So it's our responsibility to change the way things are, instead of just reproducing the world as it is. I understand now. Fun things can also change the world, right? It's such a small change, too. My brother-in-law, Luciano Diaz, also wanted to be saved by us. So I guess my sister won't be all disappointed, uh, won't be disappointed after all. Okay then, let's move out, Rainbow! Come on, the hostage is still here! We need to take him to the boss. Let's do this quickly. I think Rainbow will be here soon. Okay, so we have to get to the guy in three turns. Oops! Rainbow must fight through dangerous enemies to save a boy's life. Hurry, he's right there! We must jump over that fence with a Team Aerobatics! Actually, I'm sorry to interrupt the episode, Richie Blackmore, but... What now, Tony Carey? Our uniforms are still in the laundry. We can't catch the rainbow on this one. I hope our fans understand. Let's abuse the use of our teamwork to make it more fun. Alright, is everyone set? Let's do this. Hurry, he's right there. We need to say... Why can't I just use my martial arts skills to beat those monsters up? Oh, he's like also like really tall. <laughs> Luciano, what did I tell you earlier? You just stay quiet. We don't even have a microphone on you. All right, all right. Impact phrase, and let's go. Three, two, one, action. Hurry, he's right there. We need to save him. And if we stop you first, Rainbow. All right, director's instructions. Reach the guy before defeating all enemies. And reach the guy in three turns. All right, so... Um... I don't think there's really uh, anyone that is a lot faster than anyone else. So what I'm going to do is kind of try and do some kind of leapfrog tactic here so we get to him quickly. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to use teamwork with uh, Dio. And then I'm going to boost one of my characters over here. Or we could even boost here and attack. That seems to make sense. We could also do the same thing with... Yeah, as a matter of fact, we'd probably be able to leapfrog quite a few people here. So... Why don't we leapfrog here, then attack the fro the turtley thing? Okay. Maybe it's not a good idea to attack the turtle. Let's see if he gets another counter here, and if so, then maybe it's a bad idea to attack the turtle. <laughs> Okay, that seemed to be okay as far as effectiveness. Alright, um... If I jump here... Oh, I don't get any of my skill abilities, if I remember correctly, so I can't heal. At least that, as far as I understand, I can't heal. Well, I might as well do a team attack here, because I, I can't reach with this guy. That guy's dead. And apparently... Oh, that was a mess up. Okay, so... I can't leapfrog with this guy because... Uh, 
Um, I already used Dio to attack, so that was kind of an oversight there. I probably should have waited, but we'll attack this squirrel guy. Okay, enemy's turn. Alright, I don't really want him to die. Right, I should be able to reach him this turn, as far as I understand things. Because all I have to do is move here, then do a teamwork, and then leapfrog over and get to him. At least, I, I hope that's how that works. So I'll move here in case it doesn't work that way. And then do his teamwork. Now let's see if the leader can get to him. Okay, not quite, but we'll be able to get there in three turns. Okay. Alright, let's take out the turtley thing. And I think the best way to do that is do a multiple teamwork attack. And I'll do it with Dio because Dio is probably the, the biggest hitter. Oh, you can heal even if he doesn't have his uh, costume on. Okay, I didn't know that. Okay, now we can take out the turtle, hopefully. There we go. Alright, hopefully this guy doesn't die. Which is possible. Okay, so we'll get to the guy. Um, I'm gonna move here and see if that... Okay, that gets me to the guy. Then we attack. Alright, that's done. Uh, Jimmy Bane kind of needs to get out of there. Um, so we'll move here. And we need Cozy Pal to get near him. So we'll go here. And teamwork. That should heal him a little bit. Dio is going to cover. I kind of want to move in a position so that Dio is the target of the attack, not, uh, not well, you know what, what we'll do here is we'll just use the teamwork to attack. I have to remember not to mess things up here. Okay. <laughs> I'm just really carefully planning out the move here. Alright, kill that guy. Alright. Then have this guy move up. If you were able to move there, I could do a teamwork and maybe get Dio in here. Fortunately, that's not going to happen. Okay. Then we'll move Dio up, and hopefully they won't kill Bane here. We'll just teamwork with Tech. Alright, luckily we get count on the AI not making the right decision there. Okay, so... I'm gonna move here with Cozy Pal. I'm gonna move Jimmy Bane up. And I'm gonna have... Cozy Pal use his teamwork again and heal. Then use his teamwork... I guess it doesn't really matter, does it? So we'll have him finish this guy off. Then have him use teamwork. And have Dio finish it off. Alright, so we got all 1,500 fans, and we got our director's instructions. Didn't this happen on Moon Vulcan 2? 
only if we uh, had recorded at the North Pole, Jimmy Bane. <laughs> spoilers! Yeah, that's the very last episode. Haha, <laughs> good one. Too bad we didn't have the Amazon girl to fight with. Good job, everyone, and thanks, Luciano Diaz. Alright, that wasn't too bad of an episode. Looks like we got plenty of duct tape and Play-Doh and cotton. So, in any case, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Uh, not a whole lot of... special attacks in this particular episode. So, our Twitter feed here is saying, uh, I thought all the good, uh, all the good and love on this episode, uh, was very ham-fisted. Alright. Hashtag Dodge Kruger, Dodge Kruger, uh, approves of this episode. Well, I'm really doing a good job reading these. <laughs> Watch Rainbow's latest. Join us for our, uh, Sentai podcast at 8 p.m. Hyped by Rainbow after reading review of the last episode. Alright, so we didn't get very much income, so we actually lost money, I think, on that one. Oh, no, wait, no. We did get positive, so it balanced it out. And we gained 45 fans onto our 82, so we should be somewhere like 127. Alright, so there you have it. There's our second episode. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. This is Mouse Gunner signing out.